What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, we're going to pull some messages today and see what spirit has for you guys. If anything resonates, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, also comment, let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on, and if you're interested in a personal, you guys, my email will be in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, let's go. So the first card we have here, Scorpio, is it's time to make a decision, okay? So I feel like some of you have possibly been contemplating something. You've been going back and forth like, should I do this? You know what I'm saying? Should I do that? Like it's something that you've been thinking about or contemplating about, okay? And Spirit is saying it's time to make a decision. It's possibly time to make some type of decision, okay? Because this could open up like a door. Like there could be a new opportunity, you know, once you close out something here, okay, or once you make a decision, it's like spirit can go on and bless you. But it's like as long as you kind of, you know, once you ain't kind of, you know, going back and forth, kind of juggling this situation here, it's like you can't get that blessing, okay? We have pay attention to how you manage your home here, okay? Because we have don't take on more than you can handle. So I could be talking to some people that work from home. Okay, or you can have your own business, be an entrepreneur. You know, you're trying to pour into your work. You're trying to pour into your job. You're trying to pour into your career, okay? But Spirit is saying, you know, make sure that you're not, like, anybody isn't missing out on anything because you're trying to create some things, okay? Make sure you're not overworking yourself, okay? We have don't take on more than you can handle, okay? So make sure you're not overworking yourself at this time, okay? Whatever you're doing, make sure you're not pouring too much into that not enough into yourself, and not enough into your home. Don't regret any decisions you've made so far. Life is about learning and growing, okay? So some of you could be in this regretful energy, and this could be why it's taking you a while or why you're kind of indecisive at this time because it's like you're like, okay, in the past, you know, when I made decisions and when I had a, a tough choice to make, you know, I didn't always make the right decisions. So some of you could be kind of juggling or contemplating something here because it's like, you're in this regretful energy. You know, you always, like I said, we always didn't make the best decisions, but don't hesitate, okay? Remember, whatever decision, whatever happened that you feel like was a mistake, it's just an opportunity to learn and grow, okay? So don't beat yourself up about anything that you feel like that you shouldn't have done. Remember, life is about learning and growing, but there is a decision here that needs to be made, okay? All right, so let's pull some messages here. Let's see what spirit wants us to know today i hope everyone out there is doing well hello to my new subscribers my new bfls what's up y'all i hope everyone all my scorpios out there doing well i love y'all scorpio y'all always show me so much love you know what i'm saying i love and i give it right back to you i try my best all right y'all let's see what's going on Please. okay so we're coming out we got three four cards scorpio let me take these <sighs> okay all right so scorpio we have heartbroken okay someone is deeply hurt someone could be very sad over a separation let me tell y'all something took me a little while to get started this morning like i don't know what's going on with my energy you know i, I had to check my chart and see what's going on i got some squares like i was like what, what is this energy y'all like and it started last night okay so i don't know some of you could be feeling a little, I don't know, but anyway, someone here is deeply hurt, okay? They're sad, okay? And it could be over this separation. Like, you can be in separation with someone, okay? This is someone that you have feelings for. This is someone you love. This is someone you care, okay? Now, this could be you, Scorpio, or this could be how someone is feeling about you. Someone could be deeply hurt and sad over a breakup. Like, someone could have recently 
separated or broken up, you know, from a husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, okay? But since this separation, okay, or since this person is in this energy, it's like they're feeling lost. It's like they really don't know what to do, okay? And this could be this energy of it's time to make a decision, okay? So someone here could be heartbroken. They can be deeply hurt, okay? And it could be because they're separated from someone or they're recently broken up with someone, okay? Spirit is saying it's time to make a decision, even though you're feeling lost, even though you don't know which way to go or what you're supposed to be doing, it's still time to make some type of decision here, okay? So I feel like someone here is kind of like, I don't want to say waddling in their feelings, but it's like they're holding on. Like that pain that they felt from this heartbreak and separation, it's kind of like that um, five of pentacles in reverse, kind of like that hopelessness, you know, and that feeling of abandonment. So whoever this is, this is someone that needs to have some girl time or some boy time, okay? This is someone that needs to go chill with their homies, go chill with their friends, okay? And move on from this separation. Move on from this heartbreak. Move on from this feelings of feeling sad and, you know what I'm saying, down and depressed, okay? And enjoy being happily single, okay? So this is someone who I feel like was in a relationship. They could have been in a, in a relationship or a marriage. It doesn't matter here, okay? Someone here needs to move on and enjoy being single. You know what I'm saying? Live in the moment. Just enjoy being single. Like, this could have been someone that's used to being in relationships, or this could be someone that was used to or had been, like, in a marriage or a relationship for a long time. And I can understand if you've been with someone for shit, five, ten plus years, you know, and all of a sudden, y'all, ain't gonna say all of a sudden, but, you know, you guys separate or you break up, you know, it's, it's kind of hard, I guess, to get back out there in the dating field or, you know, it's kind of scary to have to get back out there. It's like, you know, because you're used to always having someone, okay, but that's part of being codependent, okay, so this could be why spirit is encouraging someone here to, you know, just enjoy being single, like someone here, I feel like don't really want to be single. Like they don't want to have to get back out there and, you know, try to find love and try to date and all that. Okay. Because the point is the relationship is over. Like whatever this situation is here, this relationship is over. Okay. And when this relationship over is over, it's OV. Ain't no second chances. Ain't no going back. Ain't no nothing. Okay. It's time to grow and transform your life. And that's why spirit is saying, just live in this moment. Like I said, this could be for some of you guys, or this could be someone in your energy, okay? But it's time just to move on, because this relationship is over, okay? Don't need to hold it on to, you know what I'm saying, feeling abandoned or feeling sad or feeling hurt over this separation, okay? Like, once you know you you separate from someone and you guys break up, like, yeah, you got to mourn, you know, the ending of that marriage or the ending of that relationship, okay? You got to feel your feelings and stuff, okay? I'm not saying that, but it's like, don't just wallow, just don't sit in them feelings, you know what I'm saying, for years at a time, you know what I'm saying, spirit is saying it's time to move on, because that relationship is over, like, you over here crying over spilled milk, and that shit is over, that shit is dead, it's, it ain't no ain't no going back, it's right here in the car, it's a grim reaper, the relationship is over, no second chance, it's time to grow and transform your life, okay, so this is what I feel like someone in here is having to learn, Okay, and this could be someone that's regretting some type of decision that they made, okay? So someone here could have had some type of harsh lesson that they had to learn, okay? And, and whoever this was, they kind of held on to this situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, they kind of held on to this energy, okay? But they needed to learn that life is about learning and growing, okay? And once you learn and grow, then you can transform your life. You can do things differently. You can transform yourself. From the inside out, and as you transform yourself and shit, you start to transform your whole life. Like everything around you starts to change, okay? So once someone here does this, okay, then there's going to be a sudden change. It's going to be some type of tower moment. This could be someone that's wanting to now surprise you, okay, because there is some type of sudden change. And now someone has had this sudden change, it's like they've had this epiphany now, okay? Now they're wanting to trans, okay, now they're going to go through this transformation, okay, this upheaval. This energy that they were feeling sad, lost, and confused, and not knowing what to do. It's like someone here, I feel like this is a process, like someone is going through. Okay, first they were deeply hurt. You know, they were sad, feeling lost, didn't know what to do. Okay, now they're getting out. They're going to spend time with their friends. They're going to move on. They're going to enjoy being happily single. Okay, have some little fun sometimes, especially after you separated with them from someone, you know. Spending time with friends, just kind of... Getting that off your mind because you know, especially when you separate, you know, you're gonna 
have that situation or, you know, that person is going to be on your mind. But it's like once you start getting out the house, because it's like when you just sit there, all you're going to do is think about that person, that situation, what happened. Like It's just going to be on your mind. But it's like once you get out, once you have some time with friends, once you get to mingle and meet other people, shit, you kind of forget about it. So it's like someone here needs to go through this. And then there's going to be some type of change. And it's like somebody here is going to have some type of an epiphany here, okay? And some of you guys, we could be talking about your twin flame, okay? Someone here could be having an epiphany, okay? That maybe there is someone else that can bring balance to their life, okay? Like someone here is realizing like there is a yin and a yang. Like someone here could represent the light. The light. Someone here represents the dark, okay? But those two things are what complements each other, okay? That means where this person is weak, you strong. And where you you strong, they're weak. You know what I'm saying? It's vice versa, but it's like you guys can help each other. I don't know if I said this shit right, but you know what I mean, what I'm talking about, Scorpio, okay? So someone here could be going through a transformation. And now they're transforming their life. Now they're growing now they're changing. It's like they've having or they're going through some type of epiphany here, okay? And maybe they're realizing, like, there is someone out here that compliments them perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's like they yin to their yang, okay? Somebody can hear it can be like the quiet one, somebody the loud one, okay? Somebody here is like, you know, the freaky one, somebody real freaky. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody here is like, it's like you compliment each other real world, well. Like where somebody is weak, the other point, that other person is strong, okay? That compliment, that's like, that's a relationship that really complements one another, okay? Because it's like, you guys are each other's strengths and weaknesses, okay? Like I said, ha can you imagine Scorpio having somebody like wherever you, your weak part say, like that's where that person is strong. So it's like you guys working together. It's like a perfect match. You see what I'm saying? All right, so let's see who this reading is about, Scorpio. Because somebody here is twin flying is realizing that, you know, you guys could possibly complement each other. Like, someone here is realizing, like, after transforming their life, like, after meditating, you know, that they're realizing, like, okay, there is someone, and there got to be somebody out there that compliments me well. And I feel like someone here, after, you know, getting out of this energy of being regretful and beating themselves up about the past, okay, someone here is realizing, like, okay, you know, maybe Scorpio does, and maybe Scorpio, some of you guys are thinking like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're thinking like, okay, maybe this person does compliment me well. You know, because a lot of us Scorpio, and I was talking to a family member early, and I'm going to end this reading. You know, a lot of us Scorpio, we be looking for us in other people. And see, that's the problem. That's why a lot of us, we always get disappointed. We kind of always get our own feelings hurt because... It's like we look at like the, the same thing that we give. We really want that in return, okay? And I'm not saying there's nobody out there that can give it to us, but it's like it got to be the right person. And see, a lot of us, you know, we be kind of, I ain't going to say we put faith, but we be like, all right, well, let's see. You know, we'll do something, kind of throw a little bone out there and see if this person going to grab it. A lot of times they don't, you know what I'm saying? Then we often get disappointed. So that's a lesson I'm having to learn even now. They even dealing with people like the same thing, how I treat people. I can't expect people to treat me the same way because they not me. It's only one sharing. It's only one you. It's only one. You know what I'm saying? It's only one of us. And people are not going to do the same things that we do to them, okay? So I feel like that's something that we have to kind of work on as Scorpios. It's not to expect what we give because it's like we're looking for reciprocity. And I'm not saying you can't get it, but I'm saying just make sure that you give it to somebody that can give it to you in return, okay? That's what I'm saying. All right. Who is this reading about, Scorpio? We have brown eyes that this person can have abs or a six pack. This could be someone that has small lips. This can be a young male or a young male with small lips. Y'all take it how it resonates. This can be an older male, I mean, older female, or this could be someone that's slim. All right, messages for my Scorpios. Who is this reading about for my Scorpios? All right, then we had Big, Big Booty Judy. All right, so let's get the signs, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about for my Scorpios? We got Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Cancer. 
We have Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Sag. And we also have Sag, Gemini, Capricorn, and Scorpio. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, Scorpio, stay blessed.